area of special quadrilaterals. So there's a few more area formulas we need to learn. This is a parallelogram. It has two sides or two pairs of parallel sides. It's like a squashed rectangle. An elephant sat just here. We need the dimensions that are at right angles to each other and that's the base and the height. And the area of a parallelogram is just base times height. So for example on this one it's a parallelogram, a squashed rectangle. We write the formula area equals base times height. We substitute the values, that's 4 times 2. So the area is 8. These were in centimeters, so that's 8 centimeters squared. The next two are a rhombus and a kite. A rhombus has all its sides the same, but it's like a squashed square. And a kite has two short sides and two longer sides. Now for both of these, the dimensions that are at right angles are actually across the center of the shape. Sometimes they give them outside, sometimes they give them across the center. But they're at right angles to each other and they're called x and y. And for both of them, the area is x times y divided by 2. So here we've got a kite, we write the formula, area is x times y divided by 2, or we could write area is xy divided by 2, which is better because then we don't get mixed up with that time sign. Substitute in your values, 20 times 60 divided by 2, sorry, 20 times 60 Get your calculator if you need it. 20 times 60. Divide that by 2. I've got 600 millimeters squared. And that will work for either a rhombus or a kite. And the last one is the trapezium, and it's a little bit trickier because it's got a pair of parallel sides, and the height is in between them, and it's at right angles to both of them. And the formula, sorry, is area equals A plus B, the two parallel sides added together, divided by 2 times height. Because we always take the dimensions that are at right angles to each other, and so we are averaging this dimension. So this is our formula. So... For our example, we write our formula. A and B are the parallel sides, so that's 3 plus 9 divided by 2 times the height here is 3. So 3 plus 9 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6, so it's 6 times 3. Area is 18, and we were in meters, so it's meters squared.